In the old days, flight controls in terrestrial aircraft were simple. The controls in the cockpit moved linkages consisting of cables and pulleys that in turn moved control surfaces that controlled the aircraft. For example, moving the stick forward or aft would move the linkages and pulleys to move the elevators, resulting in the nose of the aircraft pitching up or down. Any inputs to correct unwanted movements during this manoeuvre, oversteer, turbulence, etc., would be the job of the pilot and his reflexes. A fly-by-wire control system replaces the mechanical control system, the cables, the pulleys and the push rods, with electronic sensors, computers and wires. The brain of the fly-by-wire system is the flight control computer, or FCC. The FCC receives signals from sensors from the aircraft such as airspeed, roll, pitch and yaw rate, g-load and altitude, etc. In a fly-by-wire system, the pilot control movements are just another input. The FCC uses these inputs to calculate the best way to achieve the pilot commanded actions and moves the flight control surfaces available as needed to achieve the commanded movement while maintaining the aircraft and the pilot G-loads within pre-programmed limits. The job of the stabilisation of the aircraft is taken from the pilot and handed over to the FCC. Any uncommanded movements, such as instabilities of the aircraft, are seen by the FCC as error signals and move the flight controls to correct the aircraft trajectory, many times without the pilot even realising anything has happened. So if you use our example from before, pulling back on the stick would tell the FCC that they want to pitch up. The FCC may use the elevators, leading edge flaps, trailing edge flaps and even ailerons to achieve the commanded pitch motion while also dampening out any uncommanded movements. This allows the aircraft to be much more manoeuvrable while reducing pilot workload. The principles of operation of the IFCS or Intelligent Flight Control System in Star Citizen is functionally the same as present day fly-by-wire systems. But instead of the FCC moving actuators connected to flight control surfaces, it controls the aimed direction and thrust output of the manoeuvring thrusters. The IFCS FCC uses the same kinds of inputs as the fly-by-wire example before to calculate the best way to achieve the pilot commanded actions and move all the manoeuvring thrusters available as needed to achieve that. As with the fly-by-wire system, the pilot's stick movements are just another input to the IFCS FCC. The stability of the spacecraft is the responsibility of the IFCS FCC and any uncommanded motion or movements outside of the IFCS pre-programmed limits are counteracted automatically. This prevents the pilot commanding rotations, pitch roll or yaw, or translations, longitudinal, vertical or lateral strafe, that would be outside the IFCS's allowable limits. Without these pre-programmed limits, the pilot could command movements that could become uncontrollable, resulting in the pilot exerting loads on himself, or the spacecraft that could damage the ship injure or even kill the pilot. You can see an example of this when your ship is hit by an object and put into a spin. Because the pilot has not commanded the rotation and the rate of rotation is much higher than would normally be allowed by the IFCS, the FCC sees this rotation as an error. The system automatically attempts to counteract the spin using its available thrusters until the error signal is removed. The ship stops spinning. Another example is when the pilot rapidly rotates their ship to initiate a change in direction of travel. If the throttle is left at max commanding the ship to accelerate in a new direction, the IFCS FCC uses the manoeuvring thrusters to cancel out the old direction of travel while rotating the ship along the pitch axis and using the main engines to accelerate the spacecraft in the new direction. The pilot only inputs a command to pitch to the new direction and keeps the throttle at max. The IFCS does the rest. So next time you see someone doing crazy manoeuvres in Arena Commander or the PU, you have to remember that somewhere in the digital spacecraft is an IFCS flight control computer working like mad to keep the ship moving in the commanded direction and not the pilot.